Yo, what's up guys, Slothobo here, and today we'll be making spooky Halloween ramen noodles. Alright guys, so first step, you're going to want to take your ramen noodles and put it on the plate. I chose pork, you can get any flavor that you want, doesn't really matter. And then you're going to take your black icing, which you'll need for this, and you'll also need orange icing. And you're going to kind of make a spooky little pattern, okay? on the supposed ramen noodles. And while you're doing this, you're going to want to get the, the oven, the, um, the water boiling, like how do you normally make ramen noodles. Alright, now you're going to do that to both sides, which I have already done to the other side, as you can see. But, um, yeah, we're gonna go do that. While we wait while we wait for the water to boil. So hopefully, I haven't done this before, so we're gonna hope this is a success. So we're gonna wanna we're gonna hope this sinks in and makes a cool little masterpiece. Also known as spooky Halloween ramen noodles. Alright, so before it gets too hot, we're gonna wanna put a little bit of orange food coloring in the boiling water. It may look a little orange. That's the goal you're gonna go for. And then you're gonna take a tad bit of black to make it a little bit more spooky. A little bit of, little smidgen. Make it a little darker orange. Eh, a little more than that. Because we're not trying to make it look bright orange, we're trying to make it look a little spooky. So we're going to let this boil for a little bit, and we'll be right back. Alright, so, after it started boiling and stuff, we're going to want to take our dyed ramen noodles. We're going to want to deposit it into the bad boy known as the boiling water. Look, it's already working. A little bit spooky going on, am I right? Oh, frick, hold up. And then after that, we're going to want to put one more orange to it. To the ramen noodles, not the water, just the ramen noodles. And when we do that, then a little bit more black to the ramen noodles. And then we're going to want to flip it. While doing this, you want to be careful that you do not get your hands stuck in the um, the boiling water. Oh, it's uh, maybe, all right, you're gonna wanna flip, be careful, flip it over. You might wanna get parents permission to do this so um, you don't die, maybe. And then on the other side, you're gonna wanna put some orange, orange on it too. A little bit more black. I don't know, the black's kind of hard to get out. I'm not sure why, but we're gonna go with it. So, we're gonna keep doing this and stir until uh, our three minutes are up. And we'll uh, see what happens, am I right? Yes, I am. All right guys, so our minute, or three minutes are almost up. So once the three minutes are up, we can actually turn off the heat or the boiler or whatever. And uh, this is what it's gonna look like. And you're like, wait, that's not very Halloween-y. It is, look, orange black Halloween. Now, after this, you can apply any flavoring you want. I like the uh, classic pork. Oh, well, not really classic, but. So after you get this, put the, the porkening in. Oh, don't put it on the spoon. Oh no. Okay, I got a little, most of it on the spoon, but um, probably should have taken this out. Hold up. Okay, so you take the spoon out, put the uh, the saucing in. A little bit of sauce it up in here. Am I right? All right. And then once that's out, we're gonna wanna spin it up for another minute, but without the heat this time. And I'll see you then. Okay, guys. 
This is what it looks like when it is done. The custom ramen noodles. Now, now it's time for the review. All right, so for the for the taste, I'd say ten out of ten. Tastes like some good pork ramen noodles. Now I'd say for the time and effort I put into it, it was definitely worth it. Cause now look, I have, I have sick hollow, I have sick Halloween ramen noodles. Now if if you want to have a Halloween party and you show up to the party with these ramen noodles, tell me not. People will eat them. Now we're gonna we're gonna try to. Take another bite, see if it was just maybe first bite luck. Nope, all around delicious. Now, let me uh, wash it down with my custom Halloween black water. Delicious. Who knew? If you guys want a tutorial on how to make the, the custom Halloween black water, comment it. Just tell me, tell me what you guys want. If you guys want to see another tutorial of the black water bottle, let me know. I'll talk to my boss, aka me, and that's it. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.